What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gaming with the Bros Cast, episode 149. My name is Harrison. I am joined by my brother Nick. As always, Nick, how are you doing, buddy? Doing great, man. Another yeah. episode, another day. We got the Game Awards this yeah, week. Yeah, super some exciting stuff. I am. Uh, What's your hype level? What's your hype level? I'm kind of mid. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited because we get to stream it together. That's always that. That's the funnest part, right? Yeah. Uh, so we yeah. can speculate and just completely, com- completely wrong. But as far as the show goes, I don't know. I, I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, is where I've been like the last year or so with with Jeff Keighley stuff, just because it's just not always there. Um, but hey, you know, Xenoblade Three is a game of the year contender. So I'm I'm just happy for that. You're, you're happy. All right. Question right off the bat. What big name actor is going to make a cameo appearance at the Game Awards and do something? Well, I think game related. Well, like Keanu Reeves, I think is already confirmed, isn't he, to be there? I, mean, he, I think he's always there, anyways. He's usually there the last couple couple years. Okay. Um, Keanu, I will shut the stream down if The Rock shows up. I'm I'm done. I'm good with The what, Rock. What about if Vin Diesel shows up? <laughs> shows off his new. I don't know, a Fast and Furious game. <laughs> or the new Ark. Oh, God. Like that, you crew. know, that would be hilarious. That would be that would actually be hilarious. Yeah, I, I could live for that. Um, I don't know. Like, like Reggie. Reggie's art is going to be there. I think he's confirmed. Uh, I think he's usually there every year. Uh, yeah. Is I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the Rock's gonna be there. You, you know sure. it's gonna happen. He's, got, he's yeah. gonna he's gonna pump up Black Adam. He's gonna be like, go get it, go get it on DVD. Go <laughs> go rent it at your local Redbox. Yeah, when you're go when you're pumping it. iron in the gym, just throw it up on the TV. Here I am in my enormously large home gym, <laughs> drinking my Zoa energy drink yeah. and finishing off with some Terramina tequila. Hey, you just know all of it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I like The Rock. He's a little bit of a I do too. corporate show a little bit, but I like yeah, him. yeah. Oh, you know what? I, I, Dave Bautista is going to be there. He's going to be he's going to be decked out in a uh, gears uniform, trying to sell himself as Marcus Phoenix. Uh, that's my prediction. So? Yeah, <laughs> and we're gonna have a Gear Six trailer. Did Did oh. you see Did you see his TikTok? He's got like a video of him in the uniform, oh. like, and he's like. He just like he ends it like with his arms crossed. He's like, "I'm waiting." <laughs> yeah, he looks he looks awesome. Honestly, if they don't cast him, that, that's like that that that's the biggest miss in, in all yeah. of in all of film and all of movies. Yeah, like it's, he, the perfect the perfect guy for it is sitting there right in front of you. Yeah, why yeah why not? And he's a good actor too. Yeah, so. I like Dave Bautista. He's a, yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Um. But Nate, before we 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 are gonna do our uh, of course our our annual uh, video game award predictions, um, oh. but before we get into that and the games we've been playing and all that stuff, uh, how was your week? Week was pretty good. Um, yeah, not too much happened. Uh, went to a Christmas party this weekend nice. and did like a dirty Santa thing. Oh, nice! I I won a. 2023 calendar of dogs pooping Heck so yeah. every every month is a different dog taking a little doo-doo nice. very very cute and then what else did i get oh, i got like a that's bullshit button okay <laughs> that was i don't think that was fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it was a fun time um my friend who was staying with us he actually won like a kid's razor scooter. So <laughs> who brought that? I don't know, but it was a great idea because we brought it home and started shredding up the driveway. <laughs> I'm sure your ankles were absolutely busted. <laughs> My ankles were fine. His hand, like he fell like five times. Really? <laughs> he fell, he fell oh. upon startup. He he started riding it and like he went out of the garage and there's like a little bit of a dip. Ah. He just he hit it going too slow. <laughs> he just <laughs> He ate it. That's the it's worst. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, so just imagine him trying to nice. trying to ride a razor scooter. But that's hilarious. Yeah, he got a pretty 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 good gash on his hand from from falling out in the street. Gosh, so, pretty fun. Yeah, that's funny. 
Yeah, great, great weekend. How about you? How, how's your week? How you doing? Hey, doing good. Um, just spent most of the week like on Amazon, just scouring their deals for for Christmas. Um, yeah. Getting there. We're gonna on Wednesday. We're gonna drop the kids off at uh at the parents and and do our kind of like our last last bit of shopping. You know, clothes and you know whatnot. You know. Um, but yeah, we had uh we had our parents uh, Christmas party on Saturday. That was that was cool. Um, did you have the specialty drink? I did. It was a. It was like a cranberry margarita. It was really good. Dad, nice. I walked in. And Dad's eyes were just immediately glazed over. He just he already <laughs> he already looked completely like buzzed. I was like, dude, it's seven thirty. <laughs> probably had a few. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Few drinks oh, I'm sure. Yeah, um, I, it's funny. I asked about like an hour ago. I was like, hey, do you like? Do you have any drinks? And he's like, yeah, I had a few. I was like, okay. I saw him I, I, when I was there. He had at least like six. Beers. He didn't drink. I don't Six think he drank the... cocktail. He he had like beers. He had like a like a tall pint glass, or whatever he was pouring beers into. I don't know who he was drinking, but um, yeah, yeah just immediately eye glaze. For, for those listening, our dad is he's not an alcoholic by any means. <laughs> I, I really see him like drink, you know, a lot. Yeah. But when it comes to like his parties and and that kind of stuff, he'll he'll put them back. Yeah, he's, he's feeling he was feeling good. I think we were like the first ones there. We were the first ones there, other than like other than like their neighbors, and mm-hmm. yeah, just immediate eye glaze. I'm like, all right, whatever, that's cool. But I wore like a, uh, we all got like a different sweater. Uh, I got me a nice like star, mm-hmm. like a Darth Vader Christmas ugly Christmas sweater. Oh yeah, it was classic, Definitely. super classic. Um, so that was fun. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and then just came home, did our thing, and then Sunday played a lot of uh. A lot of Callisto. A lot of Callisto. Callisto. That, that's yeah. also Callisto. what I did this Callisto. weekend. Callisto. Yeah. So I played like maybe 30 minutes on Friday. Um, just because I, I was like, I'm always hyped up for when a game comes out like on Friday, but I usually Brittany and I are hanging out and I'm running around doing errands, getting stuff for dinner, and I just, I usually don't have time. Um, like maybe. You're like, doing your thing. Yeah. It's like, and, and you know, I got the whole weekend and stuff, but. Maybe I'll bust out like a couple of rounds in like Halo, just you know, just get me in the right mindset for the weekend, you know. Um, and you're the winning mindset. Yeah. Well, no, I was. It's funny because like Friday, I did. I played like two or three rounds, and I was, oh, I was just dominating. <laughs> like, I was just murdering kids. <laughs> and I was like, I looked at my hands and the controller, and I was just like, what is going on? Am I having a resurgence of like? 10 years ago my god <laughs> am i going pro um but yeah and then uh the yeah, i played a little bit saturday and then played a lot on sunday um and then played a little, played a little bit of day but yeah you want to you want to dive into uh into callisto actually before we actually, get into yeah, callisto, yeah um i finished up god of war yes i, don't, I, don't, did, I, I did that but, okay i did that after last week's episode yeah, yeah i think i was like super close yeah yeah um yeah, I really enjoyed the ending. I thought it was like I think I, I thought it ended exactly how it should have. Yeah, you know, I was I was like super satisfied with the ending. Um, not too much more to say about it compared to to last week. I really enjoyed it. Really yeah. liked it. Um, it's gonna be in my top five for sure. Yeah, I don't know if it'll be number one. Well, I, I know it's not gonna be number one, but. Um, yeah, really great game. Really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, I th- I thought the last like few hours were really fun. They it yeah. really like picked up. Yeah, it, it ends. Bit. Yeah, it ends super strongly. There, I mean, there really wasn't like a lot. A lot of people. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. There's there's a, a moment in the game where there's not a lot of action going on, um, and you're you're. I think we talked about last week when you you play as Atreus, but there's there's a moment where you you're playing as Atreus. I think for like one of the first times. Um, and that, that whole area, I think people were kind of like down on it, but again, it's just, it's a lot of like expositions and I, and I really enjoy stuff like that. So I, like, I really like that, that level. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, um, yeah, we'll say it ends really strongly with that boss fight too. So, um, but yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah, there, yeah there's, cool. there wasn't a really much of the game that I did not like. There wasn't like a, a single level that I can really think of that I was like, man, like that was a little long in the tooth. Um, I feel like they do a pretty good job of, you know, getting you in and out of like the different realms and stuff like that. So, yeah, one one area I didn't love was Helheim. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I'll agree with I that. Think, I thought that one was a little bit not not generic, but I don't know. There there wasn't like a lot of uh, how do I put this? It wasn't visually appealing. Yeah, and it was it was a little bit samey. Yeah, yeah. Because it was that that area is a little bit more uh, bit more siloed, a little bit more narrow. Yeah. Yeah. Not much, not much exploring to do, unlike the other areas. Yeah, but that that's one area that I like just didn't like. I didn't like, but it's not, to. but it's not like a long part though. It's you know, mm-hmm. I, th- I think there are a few times that you go there. Yeah, actually, I I don't know if we're getting into spoiler territory, but people know that. Well, I mean, you yeah, could, you know, you're going to touch realms. all nine realms, so yeah, yeah, but yeah, we'll we we'll, we'll, I think we're going to do a spoiler cast um mm-hmm. at some point during this month. Maybe maybe we'll do it and have it released like on the the Monday after Christmas, since Christmas is on a Sunday. Um. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that we way we'll we'll just take that, it. and then we'll come back and, you know, either do game of the year stuff or maybe or maybe do the game of the year stuff like a couple of weeks. It really doesn't matter if we if we need more time. Um, you know, we certainly can because there's still some more games that I want to at least try. And there's one, there's one big game that I still want to play. Yes, Sonic That's Frontiers. So <laughs> I I'm so excited. I really want to check this like. Ah, oh, it, it feels like it's gonna be like a Tony Hawk game. Yeah, you know. Well, I was just, I was debating because like I was gonna get it free on the Switch just so you could play handheld, but I, I've heard like kind of mediocre things about extra mm-hmm. mediocre things about it on the Switch. So I was like, no, let me let me get the PS5 version. I think that's like the best version. Um, yeah. Or that, well, I think that's where they're all reviewed on. So, um, I know. It'll, yeah. Glad glad you got me the PS5 version. Yeah. I know it'll at least run well. Um, I can't say anything about everything else, but yeah, I'm excited for you to play it and. And, and uh, hear your perspective on it as a as a non Sonic guy, right? I, yeah, I'm not either. Going with... um, you go and go in fresh with fresh eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, but yeah, God of War, man. I as I've kind of, um, I'm still gonna go back and and do some some of the side stuff. But as I've kind of, um, you know, the la- last week or so, thinking about it, and I watched like the, the spoiler cast for um. Uh, kind of funny games, the the P- or PS I love you, um, mm-hmm. with Greg Miller and, and a couple other guys. They had that. They had like the director on there talking about the game and stuff. And I was like, man, like the storytelling, like all the stuff. Man, it was just so good. And you know, I know we talked about it last week and the week before that it, it, combat wise, it really doesn't do too much different than 2018. But yeah, man, just just that story. Like whatever happens in the future with with that game, whether it's a spinoff or you know, we, we see, you know, the continuation, whatever the case is, like, I'm invested. Like, it's, it's such good, such good storytelling. Like, some of the best. Yeah. Um, in gaming. In, yeah. In, in general. Yeah, one of the best, like, pieces of storytelling in games that, that I've seen. Yeah. Just everything was so well thought out. The the side quests were were engaging. Mm-hmm. E- even more so the than the story. Yeah, some of the I, best I, side I, quests. They're just... Yeah. They're, they're so good. Even, like, depending on how... I mean, they're not doing much different things in the in the side quest, but just the little stories they're telling um, mm-hmm. is is really cool. So yeah, the the little moments, yeah, moments. Um, but let's. Uh, I see you got Marvel Snap on here. You do you want to talk about Marvel Snap at all? Yeah, that's kind of left over from last week, but yeah, the uh, the season's ending tonight. Yeah, I so, I didn't realize because I was scroll season. scrolling through it and there was like over five hundred like season stuff in there, so I didn't know if that was all the Wakanda. Um, five hundred unlocks. Mm-hmm. Or like the for the Warriors of Wakanda. Oh, uh, Wakanda. Wakanda, not Wakanda, Wakanda. Um, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. But when I was scrolling, it it kept going. Like it went all the way to like five hundred and, and maybe beyond. But I don't know. I think that's just for the people who who finish early and oh, okay. like okay. keep playing because because those just either I think it's like the the collectors chests or whatever they are. They just give you. Uh, credits or gold. Okay, because I got, I got so level just fifty, like so I think I, I completed okay. it, right? Yeah, you did. You okay, did. awesome, awesome. Yeah, because I, I got a fifty, and then you know hit a few more levels, and that was that was pretty much it. So now I'm just waiting for the new season. Drop, drop another ten. <laughs> drop another ten. Yeah, give him another. It's so good, another man. Level. Like, oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's great. It's so fun. Yeah, it's. I, I, if anyone is listening and they haven't checked it out, you have no reason not to. It, it's yeah. a really fun game, even if you don't love Marvel. Like, it's just a great card game. Yeah, it's a great premise to 
Yeah, I mean, match, matches before. are like three minutes tops. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's 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 little little investment time, and you know, there's constant stuff to do. You know, whether it's you know building a deck and and trying to pair stuff with cards you have or doing mm-hmm. dailies or, or weeklies or, you know, typical battle pass crap. But, you know, yeah. it's, it's it's still fun. It's good just because it's so fast. Yeah. Take a, Super take quick. a poop, knock out like five games, and then you're, and you're good. Five games. Ah, you know, you got to yeah, I've done that. I've done that. I've done that. Got to get the, uh, oh, it's like, wow, why is my leg tingling? I got to get up. <laughs> <laughs> that was me last week. I was like, damn, am I okay? <laughs> yeah, I spent, I think it was like... <laughs> I went to bed and then I was like, well, let, let me just get two games in. And then like two turned into like 10 and it was like one o'clock in the morning. I was like, I got to go to bed. You got to cut it off. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I, I took a poop and then I played so much that I, I had to take another poop. Because it <laughs> <been too> long. <laughs> My poop turned into a poop. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a really, really solid game. Uh, probably one of the best card games I've, I've ever played. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just fun. It, it's amazing. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, do do we know what the new season is? What, what it's going to entitle? Uh, yeah, it has a uh, Quicksilver. Alexa, stop. Sorry, sorry, people. That I said, I said the A word. My bad. Uh, yeah, it has Quicksilver, and a few other cards. I think Quicksilver is like the new card, and the other two are variants. But I'm excited. Should be fun. Shop another ten. Sweet. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll take I'll take a peek at it. Yeah. Um, but let's let's dive into the big game of December. Probably the biggest game, I would uh, arguable. Yeah, uh, the yeah, Callisto arguably. Protocol. The, the Callisto Protocol. Yeah, for those who don't know, this is made from the from the ori- original creator of Dead Space. Yep, his name eludes me right now. Yeah, uh, it's, Greg I think it, Joefield. That sounds correct. Yeah, it's one, yeah one of the original creators. Um, you know, mm-hmm. a spiritual sequel, however you want to call it. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a kind of a dead space game, (laughs) but, but also like not because it's, 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 it's really heavy and I I didn't realize that, but it's, they, they really emphasize melee combat, which is, which is really cool. And I, and I think it's a really solid, like combat system. Yeah. Like I've heard a lot of criticism from people who who just aren't getting it, who aren't understanding the combat system. And I, I don't really understand why, because the game the, it explains it to you pretty well, where, like, you're dodging left and right. Yeah. All you have to do is hold the hold your stick in one direction. You don't have to time it. Yeah, which you is all, really, which is really nice. To do is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially for, like, some of the boss fights, right, where you're just yeah. constantly holding it left or right. But... The only thing you have to do is you have to you have to weave left and right between hits. Yeah. And that's kind of how you continue your dodge and you can find an opening. But like in addition to the actual melee combat, you have like a myriad of, of weapons. You know, you have four or five different weapons that, that you end up with and Yeah. You know, those 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 all have differing levels of effectiveness, I think. I think there are some some standouts and some kind of like dud weapons, but I guess it, it depends on what what upgrade path you take, um, and just kind of your your preference. Yeah. But for the most part, like you have like your pistol, your shotgun, you get assault rifles or get an assault rifle. You know, get. I mean, imagine like Dead Space One or Dead Space Three. Yeah. Where you're you're going from your pistol to your assault rifle, and the enemies are scaling with your weapons. Yeah. Where you'll come across maybe four or five en- en- enemies at a time. Whereas at the beginning of the game, you're coming across one or two. And yeah. Yeah. Cause you, think... you eventually, you eventually get to a point where, you know, the enemies will uh, kind of mutate, start to mutate. And as you're, as you're attacking them, they'll, they, these tentacles mm-hmm. will come out of their chest and you have to shoot them. Otherwise they'll transform into an even stronger enemy and they'll, they'll murder you. They'll kill you in like two hits. Um, so, I mean, yeah, the the game so this is where like I see a lot of criticism, um, for the melee because I mean there's there's definitely like early on melee is super emphasized like you don't even get your like your first actual gun until like an hour and a half in, um, and they definitely mm-hmm. wanted you to like you know shoot shoot dude or really start off with a melee if you can start off with a melee, um, there'll be like a kind of a, a quick time 
kind of like a quick time trigger where like a, a reticule will, will go up on an enemy's like one of their weak points and you just tap L and then R and you'll, and you'll shoot them and then you can continue on mm-hmm. with your combo if, if it doesn't kill them. Depending, I mean, you might be able to get two or three shots off. It just kind of depends. Um, so it's really all about timing, but um, the game's hard. I mean, it's, it's, it's a hard, I mean, it's a pretty hard yeah. game. Like if you're not, if you're not dodging, I mean, because the enemies, I'm mean, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead, you go ahead. So there, there are some enemies like that that will shoot projectiles at you, but for the most part, they're up in your face. Um, and it, it can it could be a little overwhelming when there's like three or four. Like it's really hard to kind of dodge because you're you don't necessarily have like a lock on mechanic, but if you if you like tap the the right stick left or right, it'll start to kind of like auto lock onto some enemies. So that could be a little bit jarring when you've got one in your face yeah. and then it swings you at like 180 to a one behind you like that's a little frustrating um but by the time you get to the midpoint of the game like you've got you know you've got like a hand shotgun i guess is what i call it and then you've got like a, yeah. a like a regular shotgun so kind of towards the like the the middle of the game like you're really or at least i was like doing less hand-to-hand com- combat and more gun focused just because there's so many mm-hmm. enemies coming at you um, and you, you honestly, you get a lot of ammo in that area um, where you where you meet the blind enemies. Um, yeah, yeah, and then of course you have like your um, your like telekinesis yeah, power yep. thing as well, and and that helps a ton. Yes, yes, in the in the mid sections of the game, and like some of my favorite moments of the game is when it traps you in a room with like all this uh, all these environmental hazards, yeah, and all this heavy <laughs> machinery, and it's like okay. You know what to do. Yep. So I'm just like throwing them left and right into these things. And it's just, that was like the first time that that happens. I don't know if you remember it, but like you go into this room, it, it shuts down and then you like turn on the power upstairs and then you go downstairs mm-hmm. and there's like yep. two rotating uh, vestibule th- or whatever, two rotating things. And it was like super intense because it's like three minutes of, of enemies kind of like yeah. slowly coming at you. And pro, pro tip, I died on that spot. Um, a few times and then what i did was i ran through the little kind of doorway it gives you and then all the enemies spawned on the other side so i was mm-hmm. just pulling them through and just just eating them up in the oh, uh, nice. in, the, in the teeth of the of the whatever um but yeah i mean the game the game is it's one of the most prettiest games i've i've ever played i think like this like look wise maybe not yeah. necessarily performance wise cuz it does stutter a lot um or at least that's what i encountered um but just visually it looks amazing it looks it looks like kind of looks like the first like really new next gen game i think um yeah you know god God of war was pretty close like god of war looks fantastic but it looks amazing on my ps4 so you know can only look so much better on a ps5 you know lighting and stuff like that but um yeah this this game looks really it looks it looks amazing um the atmosphere it's kind of what you'd expect from like a spiritual successor to Dead Space. Mm-hmm. Um, like the sound design is is incredible. It's it's creepy. It keeps you kind of keeps you on your toes. Um, I wish it was a little bit scarier. To be honest, it's not a super scary it, game. They they kind of cop out with a lot of like jump scares, stupid jump scares of the of the things jumping out of the the chests. Yeah, like, they all have, the time. Yeah, they they do it a lot. Like Dead Space, I remember they only did it a few times. Um, but with this, I mean, it's at least like 10 to 15 that I've encountered so far between like the lockers mm-hmm. and, and, uh, and the chest and stuff like that. Um, which could be kind of annoying. Cause like, you know, sometimes you need that health and they kind of they'll, yeah. they'll take like a little sliver off. Um, usually they, they drop like the 30% like, health, yeah, like a 35% like health, that. whatever. Um, so yeah, they, they, they cop out on the, on those like jump scares that aren't super great. Um, Cause I don't think I've jumped once in the game, to be honest. But um, yeah. no. But I, I kind of expect it. I, I, I see it all coming. Like, oh, dead person laying on a gurney. Oh, he's coming up and he jumps up. So yeah, <laughs> it's it's very predictable. And you know, I was watching an interview with uh, with the the director, and he was like, "Listen, horror is hard. You you only have one shot to scare somebody. Yeah, because once once you scare them, they're they're immune to it." Essentially, if they go back and play it again, they're not going to be scared. Yeah. So he was like, "It's super hard. It's super hard to make a horror game." And and I can see that. Like I can see like where he kind of struggled 
to or where, where the team struggled to to make this actually scary yeah. you know it, it's got like a scary environment you know they do a really good job of like kind of world building and it's kind of setting the scene and then and, and having these like crazy settings but the actual horror aspect just it doesn't hit how it did in in dead space yeah yeah and speaking specifically about like dead space one and two yeah but and even dead space 2 was less less horror it was more mm-hmm. more action based uh, but yeah that that first dead space was was pretty creepy um but and dead space yeah. 2 had that that one school area with like the the baby um necromorph so i mean there's there were some definitely some mm-hmm. scary scary parts of dead space um but yeah i mean that being said like i, I think like i i've enjoyed the combat um there, there has definitely been some frustrating times with deal, just dealing with like the the camera thing that they've got going on with that that automated camera. Um, I, I think once you, I guess another pro tip, um, definitely, definitely go in the skill skill tree. Go for the baton. Uh, that's like the main you know melee weapon in the game. Mm-hmm. Get get the get the upgrade where you can break people's arms when they block you. That's huge to have. I don't know if you oh, have that. that. Yeah, it's it's huge. Like you 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 go to swing and they they'll block you still, but it'll break their arm and do damage and it'll kind of go right through them and then you can continue on with your combo. Actually, I I, I do think I have that. Um, so that 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 that, that was super useful. Um, like, yeah, again, and then just you just use that uh, the telekinesis type power that you get because um, when you're just able to just yank people and, and throw them off the mm-hmm. side of a, you know, a cliff or, you know, a bridge or something like super useful. Uh, Helpful. yeah. And it, it, you know, it, it, um, you can upgrade that too and, and get, you know, recharge and stuff like that. It's not as, um, giving as it is in like dead space, like dead space, you can kind of use that stuff all the time just about, and this, you definitely can't like, you know, you'll use it's, it two or three times. Right? Yeah. You'll use it two or three times in like one encounter and that's it, you know, um, you know, and then, yeah. 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 It recharges over time, but it's it's not as uh, like I said, not not as giving as it is in Dead Space. Yeah, I heard some some reviewers say that that the the telekinesis um, trivialized everything else, and I I don't think that's true at all. I don't think it I don't think it made the game too easy. I, I don't think like that wasn't the, that's not the only thing you can use. You have to use melee to an extent you have yeah. to use your, your weapons a ton i mean towards the end of the game like i mean it, it might like the the early parts um it might you know it, it certainly makes it a lot easier when you when you can just kind of take because at that time at that point in the game you're only fighting two to three enemies at a time so you can definitely like use that and, and knock out enemies um but yeah going like yeah. going forward like i was using a mixture of everything like melee telekinesis when i could um, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. like I would just pick one up and throw a guy just to get him out of my face for a second. And then I would wail on someone else. Um, but yeah, yeah. I'm, it's, I, I don't, I don't think it trivializes, trivializes the game at all. I don't think it makes it any more easy. Uh, it's, it's definitely like just another kind of tool. Um, I mean, the, right. the main focus is, is really just dodging, just get, get that mechanic down. Yeah, it, it took me, it took me about an hour and a half, um, for it to click and once it did uh I'm not gonna say it was smooth sailing but um you know it was a lot better it was a lot better for me Felt pretty good yeah 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 like going back to comparing it to dead space i think and i've i've for context i've i finished the game yesterday and you know played it on series x uh the first half of the game reminds me a lot of dead space one mm-hmm. kind of like that claustrophobic feeling maybe not as um Maybe not done as well as Dead Space One, but still, still impactful and still really, really enjoyable. Yeah. And the the, the second half is like going straight to Dead Space Three, <laughs> and there's a there's a a transitional point that you you that you might think of where like you hit it and you're like, oh man, this feels exactly like Dead Space Three. Oh, you talking about the snow? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and that's not necessarily a bad thing because at that point you have quite the arsenal of weapons. Yeah. And and that's a really hard thing to do in a horror game is like you're upgrading your weapons, you're getting new ones. At a certain point you're gonna be overpowered. So how do people combat that? They throw more enemies at you. Yeah. Or they throw stronger enemies at you. Or they throw 
bullshit bosses at you like like they do in the in the latter third of that game uh yeah you, you've the, experienced those so yeah i i definitely think right now i think i think the the first half of the game is is pretty strong um and the the latter half is is kind of weak for me right now um mainly because of those those bosses are so are so not necessarily bad but man like they, they'll kill you in one hit like legitimately if, if you do not dodge they will get you in one hit um which is which was it's just terrible so i guess so yeah. all, all that all that said being said that i like about the game um it, it's obviously it, it kind of runs choppy at some points like it's not it's not smooth uh, a lot of the time um i think jacob is feels pretty clunky like he doesn't feel super mm-hmm. quick like you sit there and try to there's been times where you know if you get surrounded by enemies like you're pretty much you're pretty much screwed like if you I mean, you can you can run away, but like by the time you t- turn around, because there's not like a quick turn button either. It needs to be a quick turn. So and that, that's my yes, biggest thing. Is I feel like they didn't focus test this game with people. Like I don't think people outside of the like the development played it because there there's no so there's no quick turn, which is like number one Necessary. thing you need in a survival horror game. Um. So there's no there's no quick turn when you when you die like so the the dying sequences are, are sometimes pretty long and in, in which you can press start and hit restart checkpoint it's I, I do that all the time now um but then if but if you die it just goes to like a black like a black screen and there's no text there's no like t- you know helpful oh t- mm. helpful tip there's nothing like that i'm um, you know which isn't a huge deal but i mean like every game does that so like why not have something like that there um and then, like the the audio logs, you have to go into the menu and listen to them. They don't just automatically play. Like that's two thousand eight Dead Space or whatever. Like, how, how does how yeah. is that? Like, I love I love like like the audio logs. I mean, that's been in every game since Bioshock and, and Dead Space. Like, it's so cool to go into a room, see some dead bodies, and you're like, what the what the hell happened here? And then you hear the audio log, and you you find out what happens, or or you you fall along a trail of this person they end up you know getting killed inevitably but um i i started i listened to like the first maybe 15 and then i was like i'm i'm not gonna listen to this anymore because it's just you know granted yeah. tw- 15 seconds 20 seconds but like i don't want to have to go into the menu every time so the, the director mentioned this as well he, he said and i might be butchering this but he said he didn't want to take people out of the moment and I don't agree with that at all. Take away the the fear factor of, you know, actually playing the game and like in silence or whatever. But the, the problem with seconds. that is they're 15 seconds. Like is that games have already solved that. You just give people the option to play them when yeah. they pick them up and you don't, don't have to hold a to play them. You know, you can keep moving on. Yeah. You just like hold just up like, on the D pad or something like play, play now yeah, or whatever. Like, like why not include that? I th- I think you're I think you're onto something in that this game wasn't play tested outside of their company, yeah. outside of you know their internal studio, and you know it's 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 apparent in in that kind of stuff, especially in in the bosses, which yes. <laughs> are like like I said, they're they're pretty bullshit. And they're, 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 I've only I've only encountered two bosses now, I guess, but I fought the same one three times now, and it's. Again, it's a yeah. it's a it's a melee bot. Well, I guess they're all melee, but if it touches you, you're dead, which is insane. Um, but I mean, it makes it makes sense. You know, it's a it's a bigger enemy, and obviously, if it gets a hold of you, it's gonna kill you. But and and it's pretty like so. My my biggest frustration, and it, and it really came into play when I was fighting that boss, is I think okay. So two things actually. So health. Um, you, the way you restore health is you, you kneel down and you inject like this liquid into your neck. Like, why can't you just do that on the, like, that. why, why would, why'd you have to kneel down and do that? Just stick it in your neck and go on. Like take like two seconds to like, you know, like dark souls, you know, you chug a flask for two seconds and you're vulnerable, but like, why, why not do that instead of making people kneel down? That, that doesn't make any you sense. Can't, you can't heal during a fight. No, there, there's no it's, way. It's impossible. Yeah. Um, not that you need to for these bosses because they kill you in one hit, but when you have their, <laughs> when you have other people coming at you yeah. while while this boss is chasing you, it makes it a little bit annoying. Yeah, and then um, so yeah, in just in just terms of like realism, like you wouldn't kneel down and, and inject, you would just 
and then go on because it's, it's, oh, it's, you know, it's like, fight or I gotta flight. run. Um, oh, I gotta shut my door. <laughs> and and the game also needs a weapon wheel. Yes, that was that was my second thing. Is I yeah. died so many times on that boss because I was trying to switch to another weapon, and it's got a it's got a like a it's got like a quick um quick select that you just double tap, but I never know what's actually in my quick select. It doesn't work. I it, it straight up just doesn't work sometimes. Like, I, I try to go into the menu and and put something in there onto the but it, the, the the main shotgun was already there. So I was like, okay, well that's fine. Like I usually, I usually use the shotgun, so I'll keep that there, and then just have whatever. Like when I pick it, um, but then no, then I then I got the assault rifle, and the assault rifle took its place, and then I was like, I, I don't understand. And then, um, I, I I kept dying because I didn't know. And this, maybe this is on me, but like I couldn't remember what the weapons looked like because they don't tell you the names of oh, them dude, when oh, you're yeah. selecting them. So yeah, I kept the I kept trying to get like the. Not the hand cannon because that's like the pistol, but like the the hand shotgun. I, try, I kept trying to get that one, and I I kept picking like that or like the tactical pistol or something like that. So super frustrating. Like I I spent probably ninety five percent of dying on that specific boss because I was just trying to switch a weapon <laughs> and I couldn't, and I was getting so frustrated. And you can't yeah. pause and and select it. You have to you just have to do it on the fly. And guns take like it takes a, it takes a while to to switch them. So man. Yeah, like, I, I don't know how that, I don't know how any of those boss fights, maybe except for the first one, I, I don't know how, how any of them made it out of playtesting, because for starters, and, and this might be just my opinion, but I don't think you need bosses in a survival horror game sometimes. I think you can just, yeah, just have it be an experience. Like, sometimes bosses are just kind of overbearing, and... And, and kind of take you out of the experience. Whereas, like, honestly, I, like, I loved, like, the, the stealth section. And, and, like, parts like that were, were more riveting to me. Like, I really enjoyed those sections. I really enjoyed the first half. I even enjoyed a lot of the back half, aside from the boss fights. Yeah. But, and I think that's I think that's what it really is, is the is those boss fights have just kind of soured my... Kind of sours a little bit. Yeah, sours my taste of that a little bit, because... Um, yeah, I think I mean obviously like Resident Evil I think has really good boss fights for the most part. Um and then like the first Dead Space, like you had you had like the big like kind of juggernaut enemies that were considered the boss fights. And then you had like the um the stalker or whatever it was, like the one that couldn't die, the regen the, the regenerator or whatever it was in the original Dead Space that was super creepy and super tense. And I and I expected them to have something like that here and, and maybe they will. I don't I don't know. I'm not I haven't finished the game yet, but um yeah, I don't think boss fights are needed, and this one, in concept, it's really cool because it's a two-headed boss, and when you when you attack one of the heads and essentially kill it, it'll rip it off, and then it's a little mm -hmm. bit quicker. So it's it's a really cool, but the fact that the the arenas are really small that you're in, you know, you're, you're having to constantly you know dodge, which is fine. That's the main mechanic of the game, but just that weapon swapping is is awful. They they need they should have just put it on a D pad, like you know. Or have like yeah. the pistols like on, like you double you you, know, you double click the bottom D pad and it, it'll swap between those or and then have your shot again like like I mentioned like play testing I I, I yeah. never I've never really mentioned play testing in the game ever and this is very very apparent that there was not um, yeah they should have moved run to the to the thumbstick. To clicking on the thumb, the thumbstick, and then and then left the the left bumper open for weapon wheel. You could have held that down, had a little slow mo, or whatever, like they do in like literally every other game. <laughs> yeah, and, it, and it's perfect in every other game. It yeah. works. Why not do that? Why like? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> but see that that's what sucks though is like the everything else about the game I've I've really enjoyed. Like I've I love the combat. It's just, it's just the weapon wheel, and, and maybe it's not even the fact, it's not even that boss, like the one hit boss, whatever. It's just the weapon wheel, or the, or the weapon, or the lack of. Like it's, it's frustrating to have to hold the left or right stick button, or hold it in one direction, and then mm -hmm. on the D pad, try like my fingers are hurting because I'm trying to. I know it's not that big of a deal, but I mean the fact that we both died a lot <laughs> because of that yeah. specific circumstance. Yeah, they, they should have. Yeah, they should have play tested it. 
And like, I'd have so many times where like I I thought I had switched weapons, yeah. and then I go to shoot. I'm like, this is the same gun. Yeah, because you have to like you have to hover over it. You have to click A, but I think I don't know what I do. Like I I hover over and I click it, and then I yeah, like you said, like I go to shoot and like I've got no ammo. I'm like, what the? I'm like, what the hell? Like I just switched. So, it's like it know. needs a second. Like you need to. You have to give it a second for you to actually put it away and pull it out. I've noticed. That's see, that's dumb. Yeah. I, I understand the commitment to realism, and this game is very, very realistic in that sense. But at a certain point, on, you have to happen. sacrifice realism and, and and make it more of a game. Yeah. And and that's where they need to do that because you'll with... you'll sit there and like try to switch to your gun, and then you've got to dodge, and that dodge counteracts the gun movement yes. of, of pulling it out. <laughs> So and then you're times. like, and then you're just constantly stuck in this, this never ending battle of just trying to, you're fighting with your guns. That, that's what you're, that's the true enemy of the game. <laughs> and it's not a problem like 80% of the time. It's just on the boss fights. Yeah. Cause I mean, cause most of the time, like when you're fighting like a horde of enemies or whatever, you've got enough power, firepower to take them out with, with what you've got, yeah. um, which, what you've got equipped. So again, very minor things that are, are huge in, the very latter half of the game because that's where the boss fights come into play and it's frustrating because god you're gonna hate the last boss <laughs> yeah i'm sure i will you're gonna hate it i i turned it down to easy did you really boss. oh god also there's there's no achievement for for beating it on on medium no, versus easy. I'll probably so. yeah i'll probably definitely take it down then um and then there's one weird area um like kind of in the, the start of the second half of the game where <laughs> I, and again, I don't, I don't know. Again, play testing, I, I don't know if it just doesn't didn't make sense or. But you're there. You come to this like kind of construction area, and there's this this guy. He's like he's like a worker. He's like, hey, I'm trapped in this. He's like, come open this door for me. And then mm. um, he's like, and then uh, it's and it's like a big combat arena. You can already tell. And he's like, yeah. help me out. And I'll, I'll give you the the code or whatever, and we'll we'll get out of here. And ten seconds go by, and he's like, do you find anything? Get the door open. And then monsters come and you kill them and then you have to wait for a monster inside of the room to kill this guy for the door to open because the the monster will then open it it doesn't explain it because even like on like the quest line it says like try and help the worker escape and i I spent so much time trying to figure out where he was and there's no silhouette in the window where he came from so i was like what what is this man I, i died like 30 times in that part just trying to really yeah like i died so much because i was trying to find the guy and then I just kept getting killed because I just was sucking. But yeah, I was really yeah. frustrated at that part. Oh man, I had, I had like no problems with that part because I, I just didn't I know just, what to do. I used all the uh, I used all the explosive barrels. Oh yeah, that's that's what I did. Okay. Um, but I spent a lot of time just trying to figure out what this guy was, and then I kept dying. And I was like, well, "Am I just not doing something right? Am I are, they, are the enemies supposed to be coming out? I don't know." Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, again, I really like the game. You know, I, do I think it's better than Dead Space 1? No, we'll see. We'll see how it comes, you know, in, in January. Um, but I, I don't think it is. I think it's a really good attempt at um, yeah. something like Dead Space. And we don't get a lot of them. So, uh, you know, that's why I was so excited for this game. So I, I think it's really good. Um, you know, if you, if you don't, I, I would buy it on a platform where you can return it. Because if you don't dig the combat, like the the dodge mechanic, you're not gonna get through this game. It's just you're just not going to you're not going to. Yeah, if you don't figure it out, if you don't vibe with it, yeah, you're you're gonna hate the game. Yeah, but it, I I don't know why I don't know why the the combat system has gotten so much hate. I think positioning is a big part of this game, and like people, I don't know. I just feel like people aren't positioning themselves well, like in 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 arenas and like yeah. with the enemies. They're like. They're, they're saying that enemies keep coming up behind them, but that really didn't happen to me that much. Yeah, like, there were, there were some times where that would happen. Um, it happened a few times, but it never it was never. But that uh, happened in Dead Space, like because they would come to the vents. Yeah. So I don't really I don't, I don't really get that kind of gripe with the game. There was really one really cool moment that was like kind of like terrifying. Um, I think it was right right before you get to the to the um, blind enemies, but. You, you kind of come down like the, the floor is caved in uh, and you're standing up on the platform and you're looking down. And there's like four or five enemies and I started shooting them and then they all started running and I was like, where did they go? So I jumped down and they had all gone into the same vent 
and I was standing there and all all I heard was like 10 guys like coming to the vent at the same time and I was like oh my god <laughs> and then it was just like a bloodbath it was it was really awesome um so yeah there's there's some cool moments in the game uh and like the environment kills are really cool and fun but um yeah yeah it's just it's just, it's just bogged down by just I'm assuming there's lack of playtesting for for a lot of these areas so I don't know yeah, it seemed a little rushed. Yeah. Um, that being said, I have a soft spot for survival horror. Yeah, I and <laughs> I really, I really enjoy this game outside of the boss fights. Yeah. It, this this might end up in my top ten just because I love I love this genre so much and it and it's really hard to do a game like this. But I feel like they did it pretty well aside from you know all the gripes that we have, which which is more than more than normal for a game. But yeah, but but it all revolves around like the the like the weapon swapping. I think that's just so yeah, bad. If they can fix that, then yeah. or it's just if they could just make it like like half a second quicker to swap, mm-hmm. um, or or put it on like a weapon wheel, like you said, where you where you can slow down time for like you know whatever, you know that would be that yeah. would be huge to the game. So again, everything else great. Just fix the weapon swapping. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, and also I tweeted this out earlier, but this game really needs a new game plus. There's it not needs- one. No, no, it's coming oh. later. Oh, but it's it, coming it needs, later. Um, okay. It needs post-game unlockables, like Resident Evil has, <sighs> where like, like you get like these badass weapons, and and you look forward to the next playthrough because you're like, okay, this boss that I hated and this boss that sucked, I can probably kill it in like a minute. That's like that, again the, the quick turning, like the 180 quick turn and new game plus, awesome weapons is like that's like horror game 101. That's 101 right there. Like that's oh, that's so frustrating. Yeah, like it's it's really frustrating because I would want I would want to play this game again. Yeah, because it's not a long game. game. Plus, no, it was, it was like seven hours. Yeah, and that doesn't include all my deaths. But yeah. so it's probably like more on like eight or nine. And also, I guess my la- my last gripe with the game is the manual saves aren't actually manual saves. No, it doesn't take you back to that point. Yeah, which is very dumb. Um, I mean, it sa- it saves all the time. So like, I've never been in a situation where I've, I've had to backtrack too much. Um, so finally after like the first two times, I was like, why am I not at the same exact spot where I saved? I, I just left it on. Like I just quick resumed or whatever and, and it worked and it was fine. But, mm. um, yeah, that was a little annoying too, but again, but, play testing. Yeah. Like why, why wouldn't you, uh, why would you have an, a manual save option? But I, I don't know. Game's really good. If you like survival <laughs> horror, like it's, it's, it's solid. It's $70, you know, which in the news here, that's going to be the norm going forward. So. Uh, yeah, and maybe maybe we're liking it a little bit more because we split the cost. Yes, we, we, we do have the sharing. game, yeah, the game sharing. Which I, if you've got a, a family member or a, a good friend that you trust having your information, do it, man. It's it's awesome. Game sharing is great. Yes, it's yes. super great. We we paying thirty bucks for Elden Ring was a uh, biggest biggest steal of the year. <sighs> I, I I genuinely <laughs> feel like I I committed a crime and like got away with it. <laughs> Um, Nick, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, and, and again, it's you know, it's 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 a good game. It's a good game. Uh, but we're eating good. We got Dead Space next month, and then Resident Evil Four remake in, in April, right? Silent Hill, yeah. Resident Evil Four in March, and then Silent Hill at some point. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I I never played Silent Hill two or any Silent Hill, so I'm yeah super excited for that. Um. Nick, before we dive into uh, the news, I'm going to go uh, say goodnight to Kellen, and I'll be right back. Do your thing. All right. You want to uh, dive into the news? Yeah. Let's do it. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff this week, man. Yeah. A lot of like, oddly, announcements. Yeah. Oddly enough, uh, we usually don't have a ton of news right around, you know, uh, end of the year especially, but the Game Awards. But um, Nick, we got, we got the second uh, trailer to Mario. Um Looks good. The internet was dogging on my boy Chris Pratt, but he got that wahoo in there, and I yeah. lost it. <laughs> said, "Let's go, <laughs> let's go." Said, I thought, I thought, like, on. I thought his voice sounded a lot better. Granted, we got more than just yeah. two lines, you know, that people are losing right. their minds over. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks. I mean, they. This is like the most fan servicey <laughs> video game movie. Like, they got a Mario Kart in yeah, there. Mario Kart. Um, I mean, they've got. Like, the Smash Brothers mm-hmm. Arena, like kind of style thing with, with DK Donkey Kong, they've got. Um, oh yeah, I mean, there's not gonna be like other characters in there, but 
then they have like an actual like Mario like level course with the Oh yeah, that looks so cool. Yeah. And then like um Peach referenced other galaxies, so like maybe, you know, like Rosalina's gonna be in it and another kind of galaxy is like it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, Peach looks super badass. It's awesome. Yeah. And then Luigi, like yeah. Having uh Charlie Day do Luigi was one of the best casting decisions, yeah. I think. Yeah, he sounds he sounds great. He's hilarious. Yeah, it's it sounds like exactly how I thought Luigi would sound like. Yeah. So Yeah. Great yeah. great casting overall. I think, you know, Peach's uh casting was really good and of course like Bowser is is amazing with um with yeah. Jack Black. Yeah. Uh, yeah, super, super excited for this movie. I think yeah, it's really I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Yeah, I think um, Illumination and, and Nintendo are doing a doing a, a great job, like bringing this iconic character to life and yeah. doing it justice. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks it, it looks, looks incredible. Looks I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot wait for it. Um, when does it come out? It's April something. It's April like twelfth or something like that. Okay, so not not. Not too long. Not too long now. Um, yeah. Jedi Survivor, the uh, the sequel to uh, Jedi Fallen Order from... Um, uh, oh, shoot. Uh, from Respawn. Respawn. Um, they, uh, that, that's confirmed the Game Awards on Thursday. Um, it kind of... It, gameplay? Yeah. It, and there was a Steam date leak uh, for March. So it may be coming out in March. So uh, just another... Soon. Another, another like just stuffed Q1 for next year. Um, so who knows what's going to get I mean, delayed out of out of Q1? Yeah, things have to get pushed, right? Like there's way too much. Yeah. I, I think like we'll see like Dead Island two games like that get pushed out. Yeah, that that kind of need their own time to shine. Which a Dead, Dead, um, Dead Island two just get delayed again, like by a month or something? I thought it did. did. It? I thought it did. I could have I maybe no. not remember that. Correctly. Maybe it did. Yeah, maybe it did. Um, so yeah, I, I, I am super excited for this game as a, this will be like the first Star Wars game I've played as like post being a Star Wars fanboy, um, to the point where I oh, actually right. want to like go back and play like the first one again, just to, uh, or, or at least boot up my save and, you know, go through the levels and stuff. But, um, yeah, mm-hmm. super excited to, uh, I mean, that game was like kind of a, a sleeper hit, I think amongst, uh, gamers, like it, like, you know, a yeah. Dark Souls like star wars game like that it's super cool so who knew that combination would yeah would make sense and i think it sold like over 20 million copies so like it sold really well Jesus, um, really yeah i think so uh and then it kind of gave faith back into you know ea that hey may, maybe we should still make single player games because they sell really freaking well uh, yeah maybe know, single at, player isn't dead over, after all yeah i mean look at god of war look at uh Elden Ring, you know, look at all, all of Nintendo's single player franchises, they always sell millions. So, yeah, there's, there's, in a world of everything needing a battle pass, there's still a huge market for, um, there's still single hope. player only games. <laughs> there's still hope in the universe. Nick, you want to, um, you want to read the, uh, the next one? Yeah. So, this one was pretty, pretty surprising to me. Maybe not to, to other people, but Xbox games, or at least Xbox. First party games are getting a price increase going from $60 to $70. And that's starting in 2023 with releases Fort Sport, Fall, Starfield. Uh, games are obviously still free on Game Pass if you have yeah. that. But if you want to buy them straight up, 70 bucks. Yeah. I I think it's a little surprising because Phil Spencer just said a couple months ago that they didn't have any plans on um, you know, increasing the price like through 2023. So yeah you know i think i think that's where like people are a little surprised at but you know i mean they lasted two years you know sony right off the bat you know jumped it up to 70 um so at least because i'm an xbox fanboy right at least they waited until like it's truly like next generation games before they're actually doing that because everything that sony's done prior mm, maybe not 70 should be (laughs) for all most of that stuff um yeah i'm trying to think back to their like actual ps5 exclusives like ratchet and clank demon souls returnal returnal should not have been 70 dollars. that should have been yeah and that's again that's not me hitting on playstation i think they jumped the gun with that way too soon 
Um, and, and now I feel like maybe it's time, you know, now that we've, you know, Sony, I think is done with, with PS4, as far as our first party goods, good stuff goes, they're, they're like, mm-hmm. um, God of War was our last, you know, cross gen stuff. So, you know, maybe they should have waited. Maybe they shouldn't have. I don't know. People buy Sony games regardless. Um, but I, I'm not necessarily surprised about this. I think it's, I think it's fine. You know, I saw uh, on Twitter earlier, someone was like, they're like, screw it, put it up to 100, we got a Game Pass, baby. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's like, fine. It, it's hard to care about this that much since I have Game Pass, but, you know, for the, my, I guess my question for those of you who don't have Game Pass that have an Xbox is like, why not? You know, why? People, people still like physical, but like, I just don't see... You know, like I would, I would eventually want to pick up like Halo Five and Halo Infinite on disc, just because I have all the other ones. But like, for stuff new, like Redfall, Starfield, like well, maybe Starfield, because you want maybe like the collector's edition or whatever. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I just, I, I don't understand. Like, if you have an Xbox at this point, like, why aren't you already subscribed to Game Pass? You know? Yeah. So th- that that fact kind of cushions the blow a little bit. Otherwise, I. I would have been more upset. I mean, I understand games are super expensive and we, we've been coming to this point for a while. Like it's been what, 10 to 15 years since the last price increase. Yeah. You know, again, when games went from like 50 bucks to 60 and yeah, so it's been a long time. Games have had their, their budgets have, you know, grown astronomically since then. I mean, I'm sure uh, God of War back to raw costs hundreds of millions to make, you know, yeah. huge, huge games with huge budgets. Uh, you know, you've got to get there at some point. I think Sony did jump the gun, like you said, you know, especially when, when they had their whole narrative of, of believing in generations and then they go back on that, yeah. but not going back on uh, price. any price increases. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not going back on price. So it kind of felt heavy handed for, for no real reason, yeah. especially when you have like, the PS4 games are sixty dollars, but they have free upgrades. Or yeah, some like, some at least some, yeah. of them, some of them had that. Some of them had like a ten dollar upgrade. But yeah, I guess we're here. This is it now. They're they're seven dollars, except for Nintendo. Still sixty bucks, baby. Which sometimes 50. I I think I think in the next couple of years, I think they'll I think they'll increase it to seventy. I think it'll be like three years from now. Yeah, I, I think it'll be with, with the next console. You know, you, you got to back it up somehow. You got to back it up with either graphics, scope. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah I think animation. I mean, if they if they put out, if they put out a console next year, you know, who knows? But it's got to be. It's got to be. It can't just be like a Switch Pro. It's got to be like mm-hmm. something something. Bad. I'm ready for Nintendo to be on top again as far as the graphic goes. I know. I know they never will. You know. I know GameCube was the last time that they were on top, but man. I'm more so ready for it so people stop complaining about it. Yeah. Because, like, I'm tired of people seeing, like, a, a game like hmm, Pokemon. Pokemon. No, especially that... Pokemon Arceus. Yeah, yeah. M- maybe not so much Scarlet and Violet because that game is truly ugly. It's, <laughs> it's a bad-looking game. Yeah. But is. Arceus was ugly but but beautiful in its own way. And and I think it got a lot of hate on, on its graphics, but it did a lot for the, for the franchise. I, I think it was ugly, like... The first area you go to was was beautiful because it was like all green, and then like when you go to the area that's like kind of like the muddy swamp lands, like that's when it got Ooh, like that one's real bad. Yeah, that's when that it got really real ugly. Yeah, um, okay, that's what you're saying. But but anyways, yeah, same here. I just want people to shut up about it. But anyways, so yeah, I, th- I think it was inevitable. Um, with Xbox games one up too, but you know, mm-hmm. it is what it is. Just get Game Pass, and you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, just uh, or or like get a trial for Game Pass once Starfield and yeah. Redfall come out and try those games out. So yeah, not, um, not too big of a problem. Nick, uh, Monster Hunter Rise is coming January twentieth. Yeah. I am so surprised about this. I thought this was a, a Switch PC exclusive, and that was it. I thought it was too. I I am now to the point where. I'm almost afraid to buy like third party stuff on Xbox now because like it, it'll come to Game Pass at some point, no matter what. Yeah. Um, which is fine, you know. I'll, I'll support a, a developer, but uh, the only thing that sucks about this is there's no cross save stuff. 
Yeah, I really, really wish there was because I would love to jump into this game. Oh, I would love to continue playing this game because I beat it on Switch. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy but that they don't. How do they not? Like, even if like I understand the 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 expansion is coming later in the year, it's not launching with the game. Yeah. But just give me access to just the game. Yeah. You know, like I don't need the the expansion content right now. I just want to ex- experience the game on a on a, you know, more powerful console. But maybe maybe they'll add it whenever they launch Sunbreak on the Xbox. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that that's still that's that's crummy. That, that's super crummy. I still understand. Yeah. I I never understood that. It's like well, I do understand it in, in some circumstances because they want people to double dip, but in this case, where it's free, like, why? That's I mean, it's just... also coming to PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it would be nice to to have that feature. Uh, yeah. Um, and then and then also like uh, just a couple of things that are coming uh, tomorrow. Um, Lego Star Wars, like the Skywalker Skywalker Saga, is coming tomorrow to, to Game Pass. Like, nice. I, I definitely want to play that. Uh, Hello Neighbor 2 is coming out. Um, High on Life is coming out December 13th. And then Hot Wheels Unleashed is coming out oh. on the uh, December 15th. So, wow. Just, that's, uh, is that next week? Uh, yeah. It is. Oh my God. I can't believe <laughs> High on Life is coming next week. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, freaking Hot Wheels, which I really want to play. Yeah, I do. I do want to play that too. Um, let's see. And then the, the next story, Halo Infinite's and multiplayer director Tom French is, is has left the studio after 11 years. Um, where is he going? Uh, he didn't say. He just he said okay. he's he's on a, a new in, endeavor, so um who knows what that is. Uh, you know, that's <sighs> I know a lot of people were like just shut the just shut Halo down, blah blah blah. Um yeah, I mean that's a long time to be with the be with the franchise, but also like after eleven years, like maybe you just want to do something completely different. You know, you got season two, you got the winter update out the door, whatever. Um, you know, Halo, Halo's been in a rocky state. Well, actually, you know what? I tell you what, Halo's great. The multiplayer is is the best it's ever been. It's just we're in an age where you just have to have constant drip feed content coming out and it's they expected. just they just were not prepared not at and obviously you know with with halo getting delayed and then you know we all know the story um just maybe maybe bad management microsoft not putting their foot down i we have no idea so mm-hmm. something like that doesn't surprise me um i don't i don't think they said who's replacing him um you know i, I would love to see with like season three like halo just being on top again like i've hey, got like so much good content coming out but I don't know. Like I, I still play it here uh, occasionally, but you know, um, yeah. Th- I mean, this could be a good thing having someone fresh come in. Yeah, with with new perspectives and you know, maybe maybe changing up the the mindset at three four three. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's 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 always hard to tell how much a company is going to change when when one person leaves. You, you never know how much how much of an impact they had. And that's one thing we won't really know until you know a few months after they they a few months after uh, Tom's left. Yeah. So. Yeah, you know, we'll see. I. I don't know where this game is going to end up next year. You know, a year from now, are we are we still going to be talking about Halo? Are we still going to be hyped for you know a new season? Yeah. Am I going to jump back in? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll definitely play season three when it comes out because it, it seems like they're going to be on like a typical schedule for a season, um, mm-hmm. which is, which is fine. You know, the, the typical season is like three months, which is perfect, um, in my opinion. Um, and in the the battle pass era now, um, yeah. But yeah, they just they just need more maps. There's a, there's a new gun coming, so you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll we'll see what happens with uh with with Halo. Uh, and then the last one, I uh, I did play. Well, I didn't really play, but uh, Fortnite Chapter Four launched. Um, Geralt is in the game now. Geralt of Rivia. Um, 
Yeah, he and is... it looks amazing. He's not technically in the game yet. He is coming in like sixty days, I think, as part of like the the battle pass, like as a bonus or whatever. Um, but yeah, they they upgraded their the the uh, the engine to under to, to UE five. Um, so it looks really good. There's a lot of cool mechanics in the game now that are that are cool. Uh, and then my 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 gripe with with battle passes is, you know, you, you and w- which is why I think Halo does so well with their battle passes. The, you pay for the battle mm. pass, and you can always switch between the different battle passes, so you never lose it. With Fortnite, you lose your battle pass, so, so you have to play. So yeah, you you spend the money, which. Grind. Most of the time, you can you can get the coins or whatever the V bucks within like the battle pass to buy the next battle pass. Which so I've only I paid the ten dollars for the battle pass or whatever, and then just kind of used it for this last one. But you know, I got like halfway through. Um, I got kind of tired of it, and then I came back today and it was completely gone. So kind of a bummer, like that it's not there that you yeah. can't just switch between or, or finish it up if you want to. Um, so that, that's kind of crummy, I think. And, and maybe, maybe you can, and I'm just not aware, but I don't think you can. Because I remember Halo being pretty unique in that regard, where you can swap mm. between them, um, which, is, which is really cool. And I think, I mean, you're, you're buying digital content. I feel like you should be able to, to swap between them. But to keep it. Yeah. Yeah, it might be because, because of the fact that you can earn enough credits to buy the next Battle Pass. They don't want you... To be able to go back and still like earn enough credits, it's, yeah, it's almost like a punishment for like if you're not gonna finish this battle pass, you gotta shell out real money for the next one. Well, and so, then I, I feel like I should that. get like a, a re, like a refund then. Like if I only spent, if I only got through fifty yeah. percent of your battle pass, like I want fifty percent of my V bucks back. So I, I feel like that's only fair, but you know, I don't know. Maybe that's just a me problem. Working. I just I just don't play enough to 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 get it, but I don't know. So yeah, I'm interested in how Marvel Snaps Battle Pass works. Whether or not you can actually continue with an old Battle Pass yeah. before a new one comes out. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. Yeah, find out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that that was just mine. I I, I just booted up and, and watched like the trailer and stuff for it. And, and Mr. Mr. Beast is in the game now. He's a skin. Mr. Beast. Um, who who else is in there? Beast. Doom guys in there. So he's, yeah, he's part yeah. of the battle pass, cool. so it's it's cool. There's there's a lot of cool things. Um, I mean, it looks beautiful. It looks, yeah, it looks it incredibly looks good. good compared to like the old Fortnite. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like night and day. Uh, that is going to wrap up the news. Let's uh let's jump into the predictions, Nick. I love predictions. <laughs> I love being wrong. So uh, what what I. Expect. So I think a lot of people thought maybe the Mario trailer was going to be there, but we obviously got that last week. So I don't think we'll see anything from the yeah. Mario trailer, other than maybe they'll just show up, show it again. Maybe. Um, do you think we get a glimpse or another trailer for Zelda? I think if if anything from Nintendo were to show up, it would be a trailer for yeah. Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I think that's the only thing Nintendo would show would be Tears. Yeah, because like, what else would they even? I mean, what would they show like a Metroid trailer or something like that? Like, I don't, I don't think so. A I don't Metroid think like Prime remake, uh, stealth launch. <laughs> yeah, download it right now. I think Hollow Knight's gonna happen. You think so? You think it's gonna get <laughs> stealth launched, or do you think uh, we're gonna get a release date? Uh. By the way, should I go get you some clown makeup from the store? <laughs> do you want to go, go I think I think we'll get a back? release date. Okay. I think we'll get a release date. Probably January or, or February. God, dude. And, I, and you know that game's going to be like 30 to 40 hours. Like, ugh. Yeah. God. So do you think games, it can live man. up to the first one? I don't know. I don't know. It, it's just, it just has so much hype behind it. Like, it, it, almost like an unprecedented amount of hype. Hollow Knight was trending earlier when I was on Twitter like an hour ago. Like an hour and a half ago. I was like, why is this trending? People just... People were just talking about it. Yeah, was that... I guess. I don't <laughs> hey, you guys know. remember Hollow Knight? <laughs> it's a um, great game. I don't. I don't. I don't really know what else to expect. Like, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. we'll we'll see. Um. What, what's the What's the Fulbright Studio guy's name? Fulbright. Is it Is it Fulbright? They got the um. 
It takes two developer tools, right? Something. Haze Light. Haze Light. Haze Light. No, I was completely off. Yeah. Haze Light. I'm sure we'll see him there. Oh, yeah. He's confirmed. He's confirmed. Is he there. awesome? Yeah, that, dude's, yeah. that dude's so funny. I love that guy. I hope we like see a glimpse of his next his yeah. next game or something. Yeah, that would be awesome. That'd be cool. It seems like they like they're able to turn games around pretty fast. Yeah. So yeah, mm. we'll probably probably see him at, at some point. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm trying to think of like if if we'll have any major announcements from from the big three. You, you said from, you like, said Gear Six, right? Maybe we'll get a, gl- a glimpse of Gear no, Six. I don't, I, I, I don't think so. I don't, no, you I don't, don't think, think so? You Actually, I think it's time, like, right? When, when was Gear 5? It was like 2019. I think so, right? I can spell. Maybe. I think it was 2019. 2019 yeah, it must have been 2019. Uh, 2019, yeah. So it's been three years. I mean, that's that's probably... It's probably time for a trailer. Maybe yeah, not come on next day, year. It'd be four four years. I think it was what uh, was it September? Like a, yeah, September yeah. six. Yeah, September six was the, the ultimate edition release, but September tenth was the worldwide worldwide release date. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll see a trailer for that. I, I don't know. Maybe they'll save that for like their E three showing. But I mean, I think I feel like that's that's a possibility. Maybe or. I'm just trying to think of like Microsoft specifically. Like maybe we'll get like another Starfield trailer or a Redfall or something. Maybe Starfield. I feel like that could use another trailer. I feel like it really needs one. Just to to garner some hype. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because we know that we know that's launching in the first half of the, of next year. But that's all we know, right? Red Redfall just... is. Well, I thought Sky. I thought um. Star- I thought Starfield was as well. No, I think Starfield's supposed to come both. out holiday, isn't it? What? I thought so. <laughs> no. Starfield. Hold on, I gotta go. Yeah, look this up. Starfield release date. I mean, I'm sure it'll get pushed. Mm. Okay, yes, yeah, it's first half of 2023. Okay. God, thank God. Uh, yeah, because it's supposed to come out November 11th of this year. I, I think that's, man, I don't know if that comes out in the first half. I think that's like mm-hmm. September, October. But I don't know. You think so? I think so. But I don't know. I could, I could be wrong. I, I just feel like that's more, that demands more of like a, a holiday, like, you know, release date. But I could be I wrong. think this mm-hmm. game just needs to release yeah <laughs> i <laughs> think it, it'll, it, it'll have it'll have the hype around it yeah like it's it's the next game or it's the you know whatever next, it's from the creators of, of uh oh my god elder, <laughs> elder ring <laughs> not elden ring uh speaking of which i think well i think we'll get some yes. dlc i think so too yeah i don't know what it'll be but i am excited what, what was that? What was that one like leaked image? It was like something Badlands or something like, like barbarians. And barbarians. Badlands. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Um, yeah, maybe. I think I think we'll get some. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I think we'll I think we'll get some DLC for that. It'll probably come around February when it when it launched. Maybe do like a game of the year edition with bundled. In. I don't know something like that. Um, yeah, and then I think it'll I think it'll come to Game Pass as well. <laughs> You think so? I don't know. I feel like like too little, too late. I think would be for that. I don't know. Like everyone, everyone already bought it. Yeah. <laughs> everyone who wanted to buy it already bought it. Yeah. I think. I saw some like some some rumors that a uh, Sekiro Sekiro two might get announced. Dude, if they announced Sekiro before Bloodborne, man, I would be so mad. Well, Bloodborne, Bloodborne Sony. Man. It's Sony. I know. Or Blood... it's, it's Japan Studios. Like that that studio sh- how, shut how, down. How is there not a Bloodborne two at this point, or or a Bloodborne remake or something? Dude. How? I don't know. I I really have no idea how how they have not at least remastered that game for the PS five. But it's not even on and PC. I... No, it's not on PC. 
People would love it on PC. People would have a freaking modding field day with Bloodborne on PC. Oh I, just, I just don't know. Like, Sony, get it together, man. Just get it Like, together. if there's one game that needs... It doesn't even need it. But if there's one game that needs a re-release, it is, it is Bloodborne. And Bloodborne needs a damn sequel, okay? <laughs> I'm tired of beating around the bush. It does. That, that was one... Like, I mean, that was... What, like, on our top three of all time? 2015. Was, was it your number one? I think Zelda was mine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to go back and play that game. Um, 2015. <laughs> 2015. March 2015. That's when it released. Out. Yeah. So it'll be eight years in March. But it only released once. <laughs> Dude, I'll give it in. <laughs> I'll take it on the PS5 and the PS6. That's what it takes. Yeah. Um. God, man. man. Yeah. If that's if that's my crazy prediction, I'll I'll do Bloodborne. We'll, we'll either get a Bloodborne two, or we'll do a blood like a Bloodborne remake. We need we need to do um. Bingo, I think so. Yeah, I can I can try to create a card. Yeah, online on the internet. We'll just like, I'll text you like some random other random like whatever uh, guesses or whatever, and you can. I'll add them on. Just put it on there. We'll we'll go from there. They can't be too, they can't be too out there though. Too, yeah, too too out of pocket. We've gotta get we've gotta someone's gotta win. So we've got a Bloodborne 2, Gear 6, Tears of the Kingdom, Starfield trailer. Harrison, this is a classic case of overhyping an award show. I, I don't I don't think Gear 6 is necessarily like out of pocket. I think that's a definite possibility. It's kind of random, I I think, like but, I, but I think Tears of the Kingdom. I think that's a lock in. Of course, we said it last year, and we didn't get anything either. So I mean, we got Jack last year. But we were, we were. I mean, we were thinking like the dual pack and all you know, every, all that nonsense. So wait, were we thinking dual pack last year? I, I think we. I think we said either blood, like other Breath blood. of the Wild two trailer <laughs> or Zelda dual pack. Something ridiculous. I don't know. And we we didn't get anything from Nintendo. No, last year, last year was just pretty bad, like, in general. That was probably the worst one. Yeah. The other ones have been, like, okay. They've yeah. been exciting to watch, but that one, like, that one really dragged. And this one's going to be shorter. Okay, thank which God. Is, it's good to know. He's like, yeah, it's uh, significantly shorter this year. It's what? It starts at, what, 7.30? It's And then what? Is it yeah. a two-hour show? It might be three. Which, is that shorter? <laughs> I don't think it is. Were, were they four hours in the past? I, I, I think I think it might have been last that year. That is a long time. The Game Awards. Yeah, it said 7.30 to 10.30. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I think last year was four hours. It must have been. My God. Did we, did we watch the whole thing? We did, right? I think we did. I think, I think uh, three and a half hours was ads. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I'm excited. Um, anything else do you, can you think of? Uh, Half Life Three, maybe um, Portal Three. <laughs> anything? PS- yeah, as someone who just played PS Two, Portal Two. PS Vita Two. <laughs> Not in a million years. Yeah, they'll, they'll never make a handheld again. No. Um. They'll... Maybe Advance Wars. Is that Maybe game like just a, dead? Uh, is that the game just dead at this point? Why? I don't why, know. Cause like, why not release it? I, it makes no sense. I, I think they either need to stealth release it or wait for the war to end. And I don't know. That uh, It's a very touchy subject. I think they just should have released the game and, and not even not even connected it to... I, I don't think, I don't think a single war. person would have said anything like that oh this is offensive or or maybe this is bad yeah. taste like call of duty releases every single year and i mean that's like more war focused than anything yeah like there's so many of the war games and stuff like that that come out i i don't i mean i understood on, on one hand why they did it but also like like you said they, they should have just just put it out there and, and it would it would have just been just fine yeah but i don't know um 
Any other predictions that you can think of? A anything from Sony? Like uh, Spider-Man 2, awesome. maybe? Actions. I don't know. Maybe Wolverine? Look, look, at, Wol look at Wolverine. Uh, you think it's too early? Yeah. I think Wolverine will be in 2024, 2025. I think Spider-Man 2. Because that that's supposed to come out next year. I think we could see, maybe see something yeah. like that. I think that Do you think if reach. anything, if anything from Sony, it'll be Spider Man? Yeah, I, I don't think they'll show the factions gameplay or anything like that there. <clears throat> all right, so give me your like. So if 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 all three, if all if all the big three are, are having one big announcement, what what is that announcement that they're gonna have? Like a brand new game? No, it doesn't have to be a brand new game. It just has to be like their their big announcement, their big uh, trailer or whatever. Trailer, yeah. Uh, Nintendo Tears of the Kingdom, Xbox, Starfield, PlayStation, uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah. I would want to see something different from Xbox. Like I would, like I would want to see like Gear Six or something like that. Um, or like Fable or Val. Yeah, or Fable. Yeah, like where's Fable? About Probably. about like I'm. You know I could not sold on yet. Yeah, I'm not sold on it yet. I, Fable, I mean, Inker and Fable is a completely different studio, so, but, I mean, that's that's a recognizable IP, so, yeah, Fable, Fable could be really cool. I just don't know how Hellblade hasn't released yet. Hellblade, yeah! Where's Hellblade at? Like, they, sh they, they announced that game, like, five years ago. Or maybe... Or maybe not that long ago. Alright, th this, is, this is my, this is my big guess. Xbox is going to be partnering with From Software to make their own <laughs> game. Oh God, you think so? Maybe. I think that could be a huge possibility. Hmm. What's the What's the setting? What's the theme? It's Bloodborne too. <laughs> 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 uh, no, I, I I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know what the setting. I don't. I don't think it could be. Can't be like a. I don't think it'll game. be like. Be no, I don't. <sighs> it'll be a Souls game in modern day America. I I was kind of thinking like maybe like a post apocalyptic, like America or something or or something like that. Like kind of a few more of like a futuristic mm -hmm. style game, where you could have like your crazy monsters because of you know nuclear. Uh, like radiation yeah, and stuff out. like that, yeah. Um, I don't know. That could be cool. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Or 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 we get the rumored, um, or is it rumored at this point? The uh, I keep I always forget his name. Why do I forget his name? Um, Kojima. Kojima, the Xbox, the, the game he's making for Xbox. Oh, the the cloud game. Yeah, he's been like teasing that for a while, right? Like, yeah. isn't Dakota uh, not not Dakota Fanning, but um, the other Fanning sister? Yeah, she's, she's in whatever that game is going to be. I'm pretty sure. Okay, unless he was teasing something else, but he's like been teasing uh, like actors in in whatever game he's talking about. Yeah, so maybe so maybe, maybe, yeah, we'll, maybe maybe we'll get something like that. That could be pretty huge for for Xbox. I mean, we know he's going to be there. Yeah, it's just what what in what context is it for his like Spotify thing or is <laughs> for it podcast for, or is it for <laughs> or is it Death Stranding two or is it this game? And I'm sure it's out of all three of those, it's it's gonna be like it's gonna be the Xbox thing. I don't think Death Stranding two is. I don't think that's coming anytime soon, or I don't even know if it's on the horizon. But yeah, or Death Stranding comes to Xbox, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it would come to Game Pass. Yeah, I mean, I, or maybe, I mean, maybe Xbox could have like a Game Pass like sizzle reel. Like they'll finally show when uh, Ghostwire is supposed to be coming to Game Pass, and then you know some others like some other crazy things like maybe maybe it's Elden Ring that's coming out to Game Pass or mm -hmm. or something else. So I don't know. There's there's a lot of possibilities, but also it's it's a lot of room for disappointment. Yeah, it has a lot of room for disappointment. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win Game of the Year? Uh, I think it'll be Elden Ring. 
You think it will be? So I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm leaning more towards, I think it'll be God of War. I, I think a lot yeah. of... You, you think it'll be Elden Ring for sure? Elden Ring's impact was was astronomically... In my opinion. I, I, I agree. I, I, think, I think Elden Ring just... Was just a huge... Like, a, not only did the game score incredibly well but i mean everybody was playing it like people that didn't play El like any dark souls games got into this game and and loved it uh, for the most part i think um yeah but i don't know i've also you know i've seen some videos about like you know sony bias at the game awards and like because there's no way that stray should be on the list and that's oh, and, and that's what and, and great like I, now that i play god of war if we've got war wins, totally fine. Like it's it's that good of a game, but you know, I just hope I hope that because that, that Sony has a very strong bias, and I think in the games industry, for, rightfully so, they have a lot of great games. But I think a lot of like the main line like uh, news outlets have like a big play too. So you know, yeah. What about uh? Horizon? But against but against Stray like. Stray should really, not like, be should not be in there. Stray over. I don't know. There, there are so many other like much Kirby. much better games. Kirby, and like I think Kirby. I played Stray. Stray. Like I played all the way. Through. Oh yeah, Kirby better than Stray. Um. Like, I feel like Bayonetta three could have been on there. It, it wasn't my favorite, but it scored really well. I mean, yeah. Pokemon Legends also could have, like, I feel like that could have. And Nintendo one, games but... really don't ever get on the list like that. I mean, we're, we'll... it's lucky that Xenoblade is on there at all. Yeah, I feel like that was just a. Uh... And Horizon, I just, like, I just did not feel could... that people liked that game that much. Yeah, but... I feel like people wanted to to say that they liked it. I think people, I think, a, yeah, I think people like. Book. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, I think they just kind of force themselves to like it, if that makes sense. Just because it is like a first-party Sony game, um, and it doesn't help that you know Elden Ring came out like two weeks later and just completely just killed the rolled. yeah, just killed it. But um, I don't know. My list isn't done yet. I, I've still got some things to play, but right now it, it's hard to think that, that anything trumps. Elden Ring at this point it's just I mean a hundred yeah. uh, over a hundred hours for me in that game and I loved every second of it and I yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know that's I got a lot of things to thing. do but... yeah it's it's <laughs> I, I do this with a lot of like Souls games but it's one of the few games where like I'll play through the first time in like Love the fifty hours that I play with it, and and I still want to play it again. Yeah. <laughs> after after spending so much time in it, I'm like, I want to, I want to do this again. Yeah, I want to do another build or or whatever the case is. Yeah, and and I don't know it, it. I know it's like easy to pick Elden Ring because it's it's the popular game this year and it's like the breakout game, but like from from two people who've like loved from soft games for years and years and years like it was just amazing to see to see this game release and to see like so many new fans come in yeah and it like it made such an impact that i don't know it, it we're not going to see it in the next few years but but the success of this game is going to change the way developers look at and trust players yeah and i think that's going to be for the better yeah i mean the same way breath of the wild changed you know, open world games. I, I think Elden Ring absolutely did the same thing, and, and and that's what really kind of grinds my gears. Like, oh, it's just it's just Dark Souls open. World. Like, no, it's not. No, it's, it's more not. than that. It 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 means so much more to gaming than you can possibly think. Um, you know, where you, where you just you just have the choice to do whatever you want, and, so, and you know, some some people like that guided experience, but some yeah. some people. Like you and I, and 
other people, you know, you just you just want the game to shut up and just let you roll and and just Boy. what what other game do you do you like can can you run into something, you know, and like right at the beginning of the game and then you know, 50 hours later, you're like, oh, yeah, that happened. Like, yeah, I totally missed the tutorial, which, you know, maybe that's a bad thing. I don't know. But stuff like that or, like, you know, I, you know, you out of the dungeon or out of the, the cave, like, you just went right, I went straight or vice versa. And, I mean. And I got a tutorial and you didn't. Yeah. But, like, that's, it, it's your experience to have. And I think that's, I think that's what's special about it. Yeah. And we've talked about this a bunch, but, like. No, no one experience is the same. No, for Elden Ring, and maybe that's just the nature of like open world games. But even comparing it to other like open world games, like you know, like your Ubisoft games or whatever, like this one, like you can really, you can really go anywhere. Yeah, and, and, and really you know, there's I mean, there's there's Skyrim, and you know, there's you know. Um, uh, Oblivion, like, you know, uh, Elder Scrolls games that, have, you know, did that same thing back in 2006 or seven and 2011. Um, but just the traversal is so much better in this game. Like, mm -hmm. man, your, your freaking horse has a double jump. Like, how awesome is that? That's just, like, such a game thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it's awesome. And I love that they did it. It, it looks dumb. It's like, why is my horse... Yeah. But, but... but why not? It's a magical horse. Why, why not? Why not? And, and, and just traveling just being able to travel is so so fast you know mm -hmm. once you get those uh what is it prayer prayer points what is it the i can't remember what they're called the yeah bonfires yeah. whatever yellow bonfires <laughs> um yeah it's just yeah if you get it you get it and a lot of people got it and i'm, I'm glad i'm so happy that people were introduced to the to the world of from because their their all their games are just incredible and they they just keep getting better and better um you know mm -hmm. so whatever they do next obviously you know you and I are there day one for sure uh, oh yeah but yeah Elder, Elder Ring was just it was just huge it was a huge huge moment in gaming you know yeah my wife hates it though <laughs> <laughs> there's no story there's, what there's are you even story. doing yeah I'm like, dude, I don't even are you care. Reading, are you book. reading item description? What are you? What are you doing, nerd? <laughs> <laughs> you little stupid idiot. <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah, okay. I get that. I I get why she would like God of War more than, yeah, more than Elden Ring. But it's my experience, okay? Yeah, it's my experience. I'm the one playing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that is uh. Any any last predictions for uh, the Game Awards? We'll be we'll be streaming it. Um. I'll probably start the streaming around like seven, seven ish. I think it's yeah, seven okay. thirty Eastern time. So I'm sure we'll get on there and talk some more uh, predictions, our guests, or last second things, and then get our get our being a card ready, get it all queued up, and yeah. then yeah, might have a few drinks and have yeah. some fun. Yeah, just vibe out. Just vibe out. See shirtless uh, Vin Diesel on a dinosaur <sighs> for R two. Just pray, <laughs> pray we see it. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. It's it's family. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's gonna wrap up the show, guys. <laughs> Appreciate everyone uh, listening. Um, Nick, where can they where can they follow us? Uh, so this yeah, we'll be live this Thursday. So where, where can they where can they watch us? Yeah, you can watch us on Twitch, Gaming with the Bros Cast. We will be live Thursday around seven p.m. Streaming the Game Awards. We'll have a bingo card. Uh, Bring your own if you want one. I don't know. If you, if you want to upload it to Twitter, Nick, and if people want to, yeah, I'll download tweet it, it out, and um, you can have like a little, little um, yeah, you know, a randomized version of it, because yeah, that's how being a cards work. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll do that. So, game with the Broscast. If you want to check us out, uh, if you want to see us on Twitter at Gaming WT Bros, that's where we'll uh, post out links, bingo cards, all that stuff. Um, if you have any predictions. That you want us to discuss before the the actual game awards? Yeah, you can DM, DM us on Twitter. You can add us on at Twitter. You can email us at gamingwiththebros at yahoo.com. And you know, like normal, all that stuff is in the description. So yep. yeah, go check us out. Hope hope you guys uh, come out and join us. It's gonna be fun. We always love streaming the game awards. We've been yeah. we've been doing it for what this is our third year. 
Yeah, third. Yeah, third, third year. Third year screaming the game awards. Yep. Yeah, it's always it's always a good it's time. It's always fun. Yeah, it's, it's always yeah. it's always a fun time. It's uh, you know, even when it's not, it's fun. Yeah, I said, yeah. Even when it's not fun, get, fun. Get, a, get a couple drinks in you, and you just you just get mad. <laughs> yeah, you get mad, or or anything is exciting. Yeah, yeah, anything. Like specifically the stupid arc two announcement. Like that was such a ridiculous, like out of left field. Like, what yeah. is this Vin Diesel thing? Oh, it's arc. What the heck? All right, whatever. That was a good one. That that was a good year. Callisto, Callisto Protocol got announced. Yeah. A few other, a few other things, but that, yeah, that was a solid year. That was yeah. That that was what two years ago, I think, for that one. Yeah, that yeah. was twenty twenty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sweet, good one. All right, guys. Well, we'll see y'all. If y'all join us on Thursday, we'll see you then. If not, we'll see you guys um, next Monday. With uh, hopefully, we got a lot of good things to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Oh, God. All right. See you guys next week. Bye bye.